Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for episode number 7 of FIFA 16 players to watch out for in Karimo. Now this is of course the series where I bring you 10 awesome players who look as if they're going to be fantastic on FIFA 16 Karimo based on their in real life performances i.e. goals, assists for their real clubs or based on their FIFA 15 potential because obviously if they've got a good FIFA 15 potential they're going to be good on FIFA 16 as well. As always if you have any suggestions for the next episode feel free to drop them in the comment section below I will try and put them into future episodes. There are 10 fantastic players in this one all with good potential now and should hopefully be good on FIFA 16 too. But to start the ball rolling, we have got someone I'm sure you're very familiar with, and this is Fares Bahluli, one of the players that I actually signed in my West Ham United career mode during Season 1. The Leon attacking midfielder is 65 stat. He's got a bit of a boost, I think, on acceleration, sprint speed, agility, and strength since the game came out. Uh, good ball control and dribbling, as well as shot power too. So a fairly all-round player with a bit of skill, a bit of flair, you know, a bit of speed, and a bit of strength as well, crucially too. He's 19, hugely versatile, can play as an attacking mid, centre mid, right winger or left winger with high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill when he was playing in league and for Leon. It just feels like a regular occurrence to have a Leon player in one of these episodes, it just it genuinely happens every single time. Next up though we've got Jesus Corona. This is the FC Taventa right winger from Mexico. He's got the speedster and acrobat specialities already. As you can see, uh, sorry, I think it's, yeah, I think it's speedster. I think it's speedster. It might be dribbler, actually. He's got 90 agility, amazing balance, amazing acceleration, as well as dark green ball control and dribbling, too. He can play as a right winger or left winger playing for FC Taventa in the era of ease. 21 years of age, high attacking work rate, 75 stat, 4 star week for 4 star skill moves. Probably got about 81 or 82 potential now. Hopefully, should have about 84 potential, given he got 13 uh, uh, goals and 5 assists in the Eredivisie last season. So a bit of a gem in that division uh, last season. Next up though, we've got Chancel and Bemba, the guy who plays for Andelect on this game, but recently signed for Newcastle. So this is one of those players that you can't probably sign in the first transfer window, but from January in season one onwards, he is available for you. He's recently signed for Newcastle, so he won't be under the Andelect tab. You'll have to search for Newcastle instead. But as you can see, he's got really good sprint speed and acceleration for a centre-back. Really one of his key attributes when you look at this guy in terms of use. A good shot power, stand tackle, sliding tackling, marking, dribbling, ball control, and of course, fantastic strength and jumping from Congo. High attacking work rate, interesting enough. Three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves. So with that high attacking work rate, maybe could be used as a, def as a defense in mid instead. Otherwise, he could be rash uh, as a centre-back in general. Next up, though, we've got Benik Afobe. This guy has had an incredible season. 51 games uh, for both MK Dons and Wolves, so in League One and in the Championship so far this season. He scored 32 goals and got 10 assists, one of the highest scoring players in Europe. Uh, or in any of the main divisions. Uh, high attacking work rate, 3 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves, 70 stat at the moment, playing for Wolves. Uh, you'll be able to get him in the first transfer window, I would have thought. Good acceleration, sprint speed, jumping and strength, and should get a big boost on finishing after scoring 32 goals. He would be someone that you could look at as a mid-table Premier League team, because he should be about 73 stat on the next game after his record in real life. Next up, though, we've got Jasper Sillison, the Ajax goalkeeper, 80 stat. Fairly sure he's had an upgrade uh, since the start of FIFA. I'm fairly sure he was not in the 80 stat region at the start of the game. But as you can see, a very, very solid goalkeeper. Really good goalkeeper handling. 83, 25 years of age, playing for Ajax over in the Eredivisie again from the Netherlands. He's probably someone you could pick up for around about 7 million. I would have thought maybe 8 uh, on the next game. So he's someone I would definitely recommend as a solid, solid goalkeeper for, rel for relatively cheap as far as goalkeepers go. So overall, he's He's definitely a player I would recommend. Next up, though, we have got Mason Holgate, someone you're probably never going to have heard of before if you're not based in England, I would have, I would assume. Maybe maybe you would. I don't know, actually. Um, but he's 55 stat at the moment. Right back. Nothing special. Really good sprint speed and acceleration. But he's recently just joined Everton. And he's tipped to be one of the next big things when it comes to defenders uh, in England. Following in the likes of John Stones, who also went from Barnsley to Everton, and look where he is now. He's doing a very good job and is probably going to be one of the best England defenders we've seen in a while. Probably our captain in future times. Maybe Mason Holgate can follow in the footsteps. High defensive work rate, can play as a right back or left back, but also with a bit of speed. Hopefully, he'll be above 65 stat, I would have thought, on FIFA 16. So a big sort of 10 to 12 stat upgrade for him, hopefully, on FIFA 16. So Mason Holgate, definitely someone to look out for. Next up, though, we've got Kingsley Coman, the Frenchman playing for Juventus over in Syria. Amazing acceleration, agility, sprint speed, and balance, leading to him having the speed to speciality. Good shot, power, ball control, dribbling, and curve, as well as okay long shots, crossing, and finishing to boot. He can play as a striker or a left winger, 18 years of age, three star weak foot, three star skill moves, low defensive work rate, slight issue is his, his work rates are a little bit low because he's only got medium attacking as well, but still nothing major, should have pretty good potential, I think his potential is about 83 uh, overall on this game, so maybe even a little bit better on FIFA 16. Next up though we've got one of the under radar players, 
or under the radar players. It's Yoruba Sissako uh, of Zulte Varagem uh, in over in the Belgian Pro League. Amazing acceleration, sprint speed, and agility for a right back. Uh, also pretty decent dribbling as well as jumping as well from France playing over in the Belgian League. However, high attacking work rate as well can play as a right back or a right mid. But with that high attacking work rate, he'll bomb down the wings, as I always say with the fullbacks, and help supply the wingers with overlaps and put balls into the box. So a very good trait to have, the high attacking work rate. Uh, and three-star weak foot and two-star skill moves. Though next up, we have got Florian Torvan of Marseille. 77 stat. This guy's got 85 potential on FIFA 15, so I see no reason for him to have a similar thing on FIFA 16. Awesome acceleration as well as agility and sprint speed. 83 dribbling as well as good crossing, ball control, finishing, long passing, short passing, shot power, long shots, curve, reactions, attack position and vision. Uh, can play as a right mid, attacking mid or a right winger. High attacking work rate and medium defensive work rate. Left-footed, 21 years of age, three-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. A bit like Clinton and G last week he's linked with a BPL move unfortunately when I when I commentated last week's episode Clinton and G hadn't joined a new team he has now he's joined Spurs and Florian Torvan is linked with Newcastle hopefully he won't join Newcastle but if he does you'll know where to find him he won't be at Marseille he'll be at Newcastle in the BPL but finally, we've got another BPL player. This is Joshua King, another player who's actually uh, recently signed for a new team. He's recently signed for the newly promoted Bournemouth in the Barclays Premier League. Amazing acceleration and sprint speed uh, on the X-Men United youngster. Uh, good balance as well as agility, dribbling, and shot power. Can play as a left mid, right mid, or a striker. So pretty damn versatile from Norway. Playing for Blackburn at the moment, but as I said, playing for uh, he now plays for Bournemouth. He has also got two-star weak foot and three-star skill moves. He's one of your suggestions and perhaps someone you could get on the cheap, maybe even below 1 million. He's 22 years of age as well well but in the meantime that is the final player of this episode hope you did enjoy feel free to smash the like button if you did 50 likes hits again would be absolutely awesome you guys have in fact been ab well just smashing this series getting like 75 likes left right and center on this series definitely a series that does best in terms of likes and views so thank you guys so much for that if you did enjoy again feel free to smash the like button if you're new around here make sure that you subscribe in the description below or that little lovely red button make sure that you do that comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much as well as your suggestions for next episode or future episodes still a good four episodes left in this one in this series before we move on to FIFA 16 but it has been an absolute pleasure ranting at you guys today have a good day enjoy yourselves and goodbye